filming. Yes. Hey everyone, on the GoPro, as you can tell, since I don't have a fucking back screen, out here in the shed. Um, little Kira here to go on, because it's finally started to chill off. It's been still lovely 20 degree days, but cold night time. Um, I haven't done a decent video in a while, so I thought I'd do these things I've got over the last couple of weeks. Um, got this one here. That side's the lens. That side. This thing here, a couple of weeks ago, it is a sort of 90 degree extension for your stand old batten hole lamps. Um, it's pretty old. It's the last mod sort of great bake light. It's a ring grip thing. A bit of a weird thing. I'll try and find a batten holder in a sec um, to get that sorted. And I'll show you what it does. Um, another thing, I've never seen one of these. I've only read about them in books and been told about them. It is a very early PowerPoint. Um, there's your standard looking for cover out there. Looking brass light switch. Very old, British made, porcelain base, brass cover. But this one actually has a difference. It is, as you see there, double pole. Um, switch. Is it double pole? Oh, it's wide in. Yeah, it's wide internally. Um, yeah, wide internally. Uh, for your thing, and there's your plug. Old HPM adjustable 2 pin 240 volt 10 amp plug. Before you had uh, your standard, now standard Australian 3 pin plug. Well, that was not so standard having 3 outlets on it, but anyway. Um, See, this is your very early PowerPoint where you pretty much put on your light circuit because a lot of your light, even in older places where they've gone to bake the light switches, is because they've pulled these out. Because what it was, all those lights had neutral at them, and these were next to your door frames. Hence why it's got the flat surface there. And you used to plug that in there. And have a light switch blow or above it or whatever next to your door frame. Because I think I read somewhere once upon a time it was two pounds or three pounds to put in a light and uh, five pounds for, a, for one of these. But a lot of people ended up using the old ones with plugs and stuff on it and whatnot. So, very interesting item. I've only actually ever seen or well, read. And then he's seen through glass at TAFE with a little display can at one of these. That was all much more broken. This one, this one's broken. I get some bone putty. It's all covered in oil because I tried freeing up this plug. But those screws were on too rusted in. I've never seen a plug for it. Quite glad I found that. That was interesting. But the next thing is. Ow, it's getting hot in my leg. Better. I've actually been real well this year. Um, the other thing I got yesterday is the Supreme hairdryer. Here it is here. Um, very war damage one end of the box, but we'll get it out. And here it is. In all it's unused glory. Apparently the bloke gave me this, found it under a floor, and it was an old hairdresser's salon back in the 40s, which I reckon this dates to being all Bakelite. And that screws in there. We've still got the test taggy which actually fell off on me when I pulled it out. We're still connected to the lead. Ooh. Yeah, the orchard cannon's going off. Um, look at that, so that was still originally in there. I'll show you how good it is, there's the rubber wire in there. I will change that, I hate this cable. Uh, very dodgy. But nice HPM open plug, which also has a hint that it's quite old. It would be one of the first style plugs, because even back in these days they eventually covered them up quite quickly. 
Um, we'll pop him in. I have tested this, by the way. I'm not going to go through that because it's quite boring. Um, oh, that's turned on. We got on, hot and cold. Oh, get in there, bugger. Here we go. You'll have it on, on. Put it on to on cold. On the hot. I haven't tested the hot yet. Ooh, that's getting quite warm. There you are. All British made. Original metal. Well, that's what the advertisement is on there. Um, made in England Supreme. Do not use whilst in bath. Um, so yeah, I haven't done anything to it. Uh, except give it a quick test. Just to see wasn't any metal things li live. Um, I don't know exact date on it, but I'd say 40s or 50s by that plug. Uh, but mind you, that could be an old stock plug when this came here in the 50s. Um, it's black Bakelite. But I happily took it when I seen it was in its original box and its age. I don't use a hairdryer, obviously, but I'm going to quick pull apart, clean up, and a polish. And, uh... Yeah, very interesting item. Uh, that's all the electrical stuff. Oh no, I've got two globes. I'll quickly zoom over there. I've been cleaning up a bit still. Just a couple old globes. And I'll fill it one back there. I'm the same black. And I don't know if I film them, the bigger inch layers I got the other day too. A double height one. These standard brown clear ones, and these extra high ones I haven't seen before. Um, nonetheless, I'll uh, see you later. Oh, well, I'll give it a polish and give you a quick view after that. So, see you later. Oh, I'm recording. Uh, there I go, everyone. Um, that's hot in my legs. What did I move it for? Um, yeah, that over there. Again. Oh, it's sort of a bit of a clean up of all items. A nice polish. Nice bit of a polish in this. Runs much better. Regrease. Um, looks good. Polish this thing. Oh, still got polish on it. There we are. Nice and clean. Uh, polish me little switch here. Looks like someone's hit that with a wire brush, so it's pigeoned the crap out of that. I've got on the buff wheel at work. Um, and that one too. I wish I could get that open so I can actually use it. Anyway, uh, well, there we are. Let me go to the box, a bit of a vacuum. There, nice few little electric ones I got over the last couple of days. Can't complain about that. Well, a little bit while. Um, little more than a couple of days, I think a couple of weeks ago. I got that one no, yesterday. I might rig up a light and see if this one actually works. Unless. And, as you can tell, my green lamp in there, um, it works. Massive for the old, very older style batten holders. Uh, it wouldn't fit on this, it'd be for, uh, oh, I don't think I have one out here at the moment. I think the only one I have is inside. One of the old Bakelite batten holders that, where well, the collar only just comes to about here on the neck. Which makes sense, because this is, and that fits in. But for some reason, they thought that, I don't know, it must be a wall mount thing was a good idea um, I'm guessing it was for the wall mount and it down maybe down so you can get your convert your only one I've never seen anything like it uh, I pulled it out of my mate's house while you watch this video um, it is all polished up and working it was working anyway I think that one was yeah I changed lights for him when I stayed there anyway see you later